Hello again here from Weaverville's 4th of July Paintball and Derby Bash. We're here with Ed Robles. Ed Solvis. Solvis. See, I suck. <laughs> Steve Schmidt. Hey. Hey. You want to look at them, not me. Hey. Joe and Price. What's Joe up? Price. These guys, uh, they came up with this unique idea. Uh, was it you, Ed, that started with it? To get rid of the rodeo, bring in paintball? Well, I suppose it was a little bit, but we, um, I'm with the we were a Lions Club, and the Lions Club basically runs the 4th of July celebration every year. And we've had a lot of great activities over the years and one big one was the, the rodeo and we would bring in in the old days lots and lots of people for that rodeo but as time went on the rodeo just seemed to not be the attraction that it used to be and uh, eventually we started losing lots of money at rodeo and so we started looking for other things that we might do not only to bring in money but also to um, try to bring in a different kind of people um, younger people mostly that we hadn't really been able to help as, as lions and so uh, we talk about it a lot and my sons both play uh, paintball and um, and I also saw um, an advertisement that Steve had a card out uh, that he was in paintball and so we started to explore a little bit what possibilities might exist to actually bring paintball uh, to Weaverville for the 4th of July and um, ultimately with a whole lot of work mostly by this man over here Joe Price um, we actually bought some nets we uh, uh, put actually a good amount of infrastructure in here and then we brought in uh, the paint and the guns and the things we needed to run the program. So uh, when you first met up with Steve, uh, what did you guys talk about? Did you guys did he say, "Y'all, you're crazy. We'll never be able to do it." How'd that go down? Well, you got to realize that, that the Lions Club is mostly older guys that don't know a hell of a lot about paintball, and so we needed to find someone who really knew that game. And Steve was the person that, that we were able to contact that did that. And he told us, you know, all kinds of things that we didn't know. What equipment was needed and what what kind of money you could get for it and and we were, of course worried about people getting hurt and liability and all that so that was really a worry too and so we had to find out that it was going to be safe and and all of that and Steve helped us do that so when Ed came to you Steve what was the first thing that you did what was the first thought that went through your mind like oh shit here we go again um, I was kinda of thinking along the lines of uh, I gotta convince the rest of his friends that we can do this um, it, it's difficult putting the image of paintball into uh, a family type setting because of all the bad press that it's gotten before so I knew that was going to be an obstacle so going to Ed and the Lions and talking to them about the logistics of paintball I knew it was going to be a little bit tough but they were really receptive and I think they really wanted something new for the families in town and so as we started to work together I think, think things went off pretty well and uh, we were able to put this thing together in a in hole that you saw this weekend. And uh, the more that we advertise for it, I feel like it's going to be a bigger deal. So, so Joe, you, you kind of got a pretty good, you know, a lot of the kids out here, um, kind of got to get a little closer because my arms okay. aren't that long. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you think that this is a big improvement over the rodeo? Do you see a lot more of the younger generation out here, people well, having fun? The last few times I've been here, the last couple of years, I just noticed there was nobody sitting in the stands and there was nobody really enjoying the rodeo which means you know the rodeo sucks and <laughs> they play a lot of bad country music so that made it even worse but uh once we brought the paintball in there's still not a lot of people sitting in the stands but we have a lot of kids that are just you know it's just kid, kid after kid after kid after kid that is coming through yeah, and enjoying right. playing the paintball and it gives the kids something to do besides going out and getting in trouble and doing something else so it just gives them a, another so one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest things uh, that people think about especially with paintball is the expense it's really expensive what have you guys done to make this affordable like if 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 I had a kid and I were to bring him to here what would the well, what's your goal are you, are you trying to get my money or do you just want to Break even, let the kids have a good time. How much is it going to cost me, and what's my kid going to get? I'll take that one. Um, well, you know, at the first part, we're going to try to get back our money that we spent for the nets and stuff like that. But in the future, I would like to see it drop down to where we hopefully break even, make maybe a little bit of money for the Lions Club, which is a nonprofit organization, and all our money goes back into helping people. We're not out to make money for ourselves, but. We'd like to maybe make a little bit of cash, not a whole lot, but just mainly is to give people something to do and the kids something to do on the 4th of July to enjoy themselves, bring people into the park, and just to give the town something to watch, enjoy, and have a good time on their 4th of July without, you know, really making a lot of, you know, 
without hosing them hard or nothing like that. So they can afford it and stuff like that. So this year, how much? About how much was it for a parent to come it, in and have one kid play a set? Uh, for one kid, it was uh, ten dollars for the kid to go out there for ten minutes of uh, paintball adrenaline, and uh, they got to get out there and just feel what it's like and enjoy the adrenaline rush and stuff like that. And they, you know, they were. It was ten dollars to get out there for ten minutes and just enjoy the the pressure and have it fun. They didn't need their own equipment, uh, nothing. They just come no, up, they just, $10, bucks, $10 and they, they, they come here with $10 bill, boom. We flap, they flap it down. We, we supply them with everything they need. They go out there and they play and they enjoy themselves for 10 minutes. Pretty cool. We've got like two minutes left. Is there anything you guys would like to say? Would you like to uh, share maybe some things that the Lions has done for Weaverville here? Uh, what did you guys, anything you guys want to say hi to mom? Well, I think you've seen, uh, or maybe you'll show the Demolition Derby. And I mean, That's pretty cool. The, the 4th of July is three solid days of activities in Weaverville. And um, for anybody that's, uh, you know, 50 miles, 100 miles away, this is the place to be on the 4th of July. Steve? Say hi to mom, dad, cat, dog. Yeah, I'd just like to say one of one of the reasons we're doing this whole thing, or that I was involved in doing this, is trying to bring a shift in the industry. I saw hardcore scenario players, hardcore speedball players, people pumping hundreds, thousands of dollars into their equipment. To get them to play initially was almost impossible unless you dumped at least five hundred bucks into your gear. This way you can pay the 10 bucks, come feel the adrenaline, get used to the crowd, meet some people, get into the industry without totally going bankrupt. Sweet. Joe, besides my phone number and my picture in a Speedo, anything you'd like to say? Hi to anyone? Thank the woman for giving you the time off. Um, wow. After you said that, I can think of nothing else that I would want. But um, I just would like to see just us to make it more affordable for the kids uh, and families, you know, 
especially up in Weaverville. We're not a super rich county, but I just want the kids to have something to do to enjoy themselves and have fun because it can get expensive. And uh, But just as long as we can make it so they can have fun, enjoy themselves, and give them something to do besides, you know, go out and do the bad things that are out there, unfortunately. I just, you can you see know. Joe's had a lot of experience on the bad things that are out there. Yes, I mean, he's yes, bringing that up. Yes, I understand. I well, Joe, yeah. <laughs> Joe did follow the wrong path in life, and I would like to see the kids follow the right path in life and use their aggression and stuff on paintball instead of going to probation or something like that. So, you know, probation in, or paintball.